what will happen in 2017 and other upcoming years. Today I would like to talk a little bit about the possible scenarios and about possible reactions of the preppers community to such a threat or such situation. Uh, prepping is a very wide topic and very great huge range of activities, skills, supplies, resources that you want to uh, gather, that you want to achieve and use in critical situation, in a problematic situation that change our life, change our lifestyle, our way of thinking. And today I would like to talk a little bit about the possible scenarios. Because if you ask an ordinary prepper, what are you preparing for? You can get a lot of possible answers. Some of the preppers are uh, facing the economical collapse, uh, the war, the martial law in the United States of any other place in the world. So they basically think and they are afraid and they are preparing for um, people and the threat comes directly from people. So it is going from the society of the humankind, some, you know, fancy bankers do some work and the economic collapse could happen, of course, and the social um, disturbing, uh, some riots, some, some homeland wars, etc. could happen. So this is the first group that I have a figure. So the threat directly from a human race, human people. So any other climate and, and stuff, but only directly from people. So the war, the invasion of other country, nuclear war, uh, riots, economical collapse, all those things are coming from the humans. So I call this group of scenarios the human case. The another group of threat that I would like to discuss is the threat coming from the natural disasters. Natural disasters, but coming uh, and happening on the earth itself. So the first thing that come to my mind is of course the climate change. The situation where our lifestyle could not be continue because, for example, we get the global warming, global colding, or tsunamis, or earthquakes, or volcano explosions, like Yellowstone volcano explosions, or any other uh, sub-sea in oceans. Some, some volcanoes in the oceans could explode and create great tsunami waves. So the second group is the natural disaster group of threats and possible scenarios. Of course, um, the reason why this happened is not coming from the humans, uh, but the results uh, of this situation are very dependent of the behavior of the human race. Uh, because if we get a great tsunami wave and the government will collapse, the structure of our society will collapse, uh, we will be on our own. So there will be no police, the military will be uh, full of work with the catastrophic uh, reactions and to prevent the, the, the result of the catastrophic of this natural disease. But of course, a lot of new threats will come directly from the people. Uh, thieves and riots and people looking for a shoulder, for a food, for a hanger. So the natural disease can also prepare the threat from the humans. Of course, uh, this is the one part of the natural disease. Natural disease can actually destroy our homeland. 
for example, if you live in uh, Spania and uh, uh, ocean level will rise, almost the 90% of the Spania will be under the water. So it's really obvious that uh, you cannot live there and you need to move somewhere else. But also there is a problem with these people. Uh, you are a refugee, you're coming to another land, but now we get a very big concentration of the people in the France and Germany, for example, if we are talking about the Europe, but the same situation can happen in the uh, um, United States, for example, the um, Yellowstone volcano explodes, not as much as big as, as the scientists uh, uh, predicts, but maybe it paralyzed the one third on, on, on the half of the United States and lots of mass of people that of course that who survived the basic explosion they move uh, for example to Mexico or move north to Canada and this will cause a lot of problems with uh, the food uh, the the resources water etc so if we survive the natural disease I assume of course we survive because if we all die, the whole topic is end. It's not, there is nothing to talk about. Everybody dies and it's so game over, yeah? And we go back to era before humans, maybe some or only a few organisms survive. But I assume that uh, some part of humanity will survive after natural disease and start migrating. To looking for a new land uh, to live and it is also the human problem now so the natural disease could cause a human case so the second scenario which is natural disease also could turn into the first scenario which is a human case human scenario human problem and the third and the last uh, for me is uh, extraterrestrial uh, extraterrestrial uh, scenario when we force the disease natural disease coming from the space and this could be an asteroid of course some kind of gamma explosion or the most fantastic way but also it is possible is the alien invasion um, why the most fantastic is the alien invasion because uh, it never happened before uh, I mean we don't have a proof that alien invasion ha has already uh, come in the past but we know that the gamma explosion the asteroids uh, well big meteoroid hit in the earth happened in the past and if it happened in the past it's very certain that could it it could uh, happen in the future we don't know if it happens or on our lifetime our children and grandchildren but it's certain that such situation that such threat which is a cosmic disaster will come so to to get back to list of this three possible scenario threats first is the human case human itself so the threat from human itself second is the natural disease uh, like a climate change things or volcano or any other natural disaster not caused by humans but also human problem is involved in this and the third which is a cosmic disaster uh, like asteroid or gamma explosion which also could become human problem in the result and if you assume that in the second and the third uh, case we survive and we are able to move to migrate we are still facing the human problem in long-term scenario in long-term survival I think we should be prepared the most 
for the human threat from the threat from humans because it doesn't matter what kind of scenario happened the first the second or the third in the result in the long term when the situation comes let's see some uh, more um, peaceful I mean uh, the global disaster will uh, occur and after it humanity will st- will face the problem of reorganizing of fighting for the food for the supplies for the water and in my opinion this is the most important scenario to discuss um, because of course the nuclear attack we could build a shelter under the ground but after the nuclear attack after a few months after one year or two years you need to come out from the shelter and start living on the surface and of course other people who survived the first impact in the second natural disease or the third cosmic disease could also will be also looking for a food shelter and get new supplies because uh, your food storage your supplies will always run out doesn't it, it is always the matter of time you can have uh, resources for month three months a year or if you are a very uh, good prepper and you have resources to get for example a shelter and a five-year um, resources like water and food it's good for you but always it's a matter of time when you need to start moving and looking for a new place to live new looking for new resources and on this situation you always face other people that will survive they will be the biggest threat to you in my opinion because they will be hungry angry and they will look for uh, safe yes this is a basic animal uh, instinct yes the survival is the human basic instinct so uh, people will try to survive no matter what even for the price of the other people lives and if you agree with me you can comment and if you disagree uh, that the threat from humans is the big one because after the first impact after the first wave of the natural riots or cosmic disaster you always face the threat from other humans and in the next video we will continue to to discuss this monologue about the human threats and how I can uh, organize the, the threats hierarchy and how to prevent those threats and I give you my detailed scenario of the human case uh, threat uh, solution let's see so thanks for watching thanks for listening it was john doe the preppers tv see you later